Hey everyone, today is Tuesday, April 7th, and here are your wad notes for today. Uh, today's workout is a partner wad. It is 24 alternating rounds. Um, each partner will do 12 rounds of this workout. The way this is going to work, if you are logged into a Zoom class, then you're going to choose someone else that's logged in, and they will be your partner today. If you have someone that you can work out with in the same space, then they will be your partner. If you do not have a partner and you are not logged into a Zoom class, then simply do 12 rounds on your own of today's workout. If you are logged into a Zoom class, then make sure that you and your partner communicate um, who is keeping the total time for the workout because today's workout is for time. One partner is going to be working at a time, and while you or your partner are not working, you will be obviously watching your monitor and cheering on your partner um, wherever they may be. So let's talk about the workout. 24 alternating rounds. Each partner is going to do 12 rounds of work. We have four single arm dumbbell clusters, six sit-ups, and eight box jumps, okay? If you do not have a box to jump up on, um, you can use a chair or some type of sturdy object, a weight bench, anything that is going to hold your weight when you jump up on top. Um, if you do not do box jumps, then of course some substitutions, you can perform box step ups or eight object jump overs. Make sure that you know that these are box jumps and not box jump overs. So when we jump up on the box, we are standing tall, opening up our hips. We can then step, step down or jump down off that box. Same with the box step ups. They are not box step up and overs. So we step up, pushing through whichever leg we are using to get up on top of the box, the chair, the bench, um, a stack of plates, whatever we are using. We stand tall, open up our hips, and then we can step down off of that. Um, so let's talk about these single arm dumbbell clusters. Obviously the general fitness weights are a 50 pound dumbbell for guys, 35 pound dumbbell for ladies. Um, you can also use a kettlebell as well. So that would be like a 53 pound kettlebell for guys, uh, 35 pound kettlebell for ladies. For RX weights, um, general fitness weights would be a 35 pound dumbbell for men, 26 for ladies, um, and the same, I'm sorry, not a 26, a 25 dumbbell for ladies, kettlebells, 35 kettlebell uh, for guys, 26 for ladies. So let's talk about these dumbbell clusters. <clears throat> a cluster is a squat clean thruster. So we're going to address our weighted object, whatever that might be. It's gonna be between our feet. We're gonna hinge our hips back, making sure shoulders are above our hips, hips are above our knees. One arm touches the object, the other arm is not touching our body. We're gonna make sure we hit our triple extension, shrug, high pull, and pull under. From here, I'm going to come out of the bottom of my squat, push press with that one arm, okay? Come back to the ground again. All right, these do not have to be alternating, so you can do all four on your right arm on one round, maybe change it up the next round and do all four on the left arm. If you want to alternate arms each round, you can, but that is not required. Our sit-ups, standard ab mat sit-ups. Make sure thick part of the ab mat is right up above your butt. Soles over our feet touch together, knees are butterflied out. When we lay back, Shoulders, hands touch the ground. When we sit up, fingers touch the toes, shoulders in front of our hips. If we do not have a box for box jumps or for step ups, or if we don't have anything that we can step up on or jump up on safely, we can perform um, object jump overs. Um, when we use a barbell in class and we do uh, like bar facing burpees or lateral burpees, that bar is usually like around nine or so inches off the ground. So I would try to find something comparable, but again, work with what you have. You can do these facing the object. You can do these laterally over the object. Okay, so again, 24 alternating rounds if you have a partner, 
four single arm dumbbell clusters, six sit-ups, eight box jumps, or box step-ups, or object jump overs, all right? You guys have a great day. Make sure you post your scores in Wattify. Hope to see you soon.